Yeah, how did you feel everything went for you yesterday in the second game? Uh, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we didn't come out with the win, but I think we fought hard. It's still early in the season, and, you know, I, I see our team going in the right direction. The, uh, the catch you made kind of with one arm behind you, uh, sort of uh, take me through that moment. Does instinct just sort of take over there, or what's, what's going through your mind as the ball's a little behind you, but you still find a way to get a hold of it? Uh, yeah, it was kind of like instinct, just trying to make a play on the ball, and you know when the ball comes my way to make something of it. So I just it came stuck in my hands, and I turned turn up field. Obviously, when you work with Matt in practice, you want he wants to throw it accurately to you and and on time. Do you work on bad ball drills where you, maybe you have to go outside of your range and uh, kind of like when do you work on that? How how much does that help you win? <coughs> I mean, you, you kind of can't try and uh, train for bad balls, but you have your things where your body torques certain ways, and you kind of just, it's small drills where just offsetting the ball and, you know, turning your body around. But for the most part, just, you know, when the ball comes my way, it could be a bad ball just to make a play on the ball. When you make a catch like that, or even one that's very routine, um, especially as you're kind of going so early into the first couple of NFL games, is, is there confidence to be gained in each successful experience? How do you kind of view uh, those individual moments? Uh, definitely. It's just kind of, uh, like, like you said, a confidence boost for me. It's, it kind of gets me going knowing that I can sustain in the NFL and I can make a play against the best of the best. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. How do you feel like you evolved? I mean, small sample sizes, right? But like, how do you feel like you evolved from week one to week two? in terms of how you played and, and what you were seeing out on the field? Uh, just being able to recognize coverage a little better, you know, trying to figure out the small details, you know, in order to make my game better each week because I know it's something that I can improve on, something each game. So just small things like that. Um, I remember when I was talking to some of your college coaches, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't move around nearly as much as you, did, you do now early in your college career. Is that making this transition a little trickier for you because there is so much movement and you are playing so many spots versus that high school to college transition? Or are there other things that are maybe making this easier? Uh, I think it kind of makes me more uh, flexible being able to do a lot of more things. And it, it's kind of put the challenge on me mentally to know everything and kind of learn the whole offense. So that's something that y'all kind of embrace. How have you gone about doing that? Like what's, what's your study habits? Okay, I can't let you know the, the the recipe, but just studying every day during the week on my own, uh, going through plays and coverage, and you know, going through with my coaches. Are you, are you worried the recipe is gonna lead other tight ends to <laughs> follow in your path? Like, well, <laughs> no, I, I, it's a bunch of great tight ends. They have their own routine, and I think the one I'm doing right now, is, you know, it can be tweaked, but it's still, you know, on the way up. So, what do you, I know you say you don't want to really share with that. What, what exactly is that routine? Give me an, a, a snippet of what that routine. Just go home and watch your film. Uh, Hayes was talking about um, that, that Coach Smith kind of keeps throwing stuff on your plate, like even as you uh, progress through the year. Um, how, how have you handled that? He said that, that, that it was a confidence builder that Coach trusts you to keep learning and, and um, absorbing and then executing these types of things. Uh, what's that like mentally when he keeps kind of giving you stuff? It's a, it's a challenge that I love to embrace, and it's something that you know each each day in practice when he may throw something new in, to be able to try and get it right the first time, and if not, get it right the second time, and don't make don't make uh, you know multiple mistakes on it, so that he can trust me to do multiple things. To that end, what what is Arthur Smith's kind of teaching style with you? Is he very like hands on with you, like showing you what he wants, or is it more um, I guess? talking to you. I, I just, I'm curious to see like, like what his teaching style is. I don't know if I'm making you miss answer. <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of half and half. You know, he's, he's hands on on the field. And when we're, when we're in the classroom, he's, sh he's showing me other tight ends. So he's coached before many great to, you know, try and do like them. And so it's kind of like mixing the two together and trying to put my own flavor on it. Yeah, I know that you said, I think the last time we spoke to you, probably before week one, that, you know, you were very appreciative of him taking the time to teach you and, and to be there to kind of walk you through um, this, I think I'm paraphrasing. But I mean, to to that end, what does that mean to you to kind of come in immediately year one and have this coach kind of really being hands on with you like that? 
Uh, I love it because he was a, a previous, a past tight end coach, so he he has knowledge of the position, and he's a he's a great he has a great offensive mind. So he just you know kind of helps it and makes things easier. You know, now learn from someone like that. We haven't talked to you really since right at, since the aftermath of that first game. When you went back and watched what you saw, what did you take from that first game? That maybe that maybe you didn't learn before that you're like, oh wow, okay, I see X or Y. Uh, just small details, being able to identify things faster. Like what? Coaches. Coaches. Uh, Matt talked about you know everybody getting on the same page and things looked up you know wasn't as choppy as he called it the first week. Uh, do you sense that that's coming along? Everybody's getting uh, to where y'all functioning you know as a unit. Definitely, I think you know Matt does a great job of holding the team accountable and you know we're all starting to gel together and. I think, like I said, we're starting to go in the right direction. How did it feel to get some results to, you know, get some, you know, points on the scoreboard? It was, it was fun, but you know, like I said, we didn't have the outcome we wanted in small details to help us win next week. Anything else? Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, All right. Kyle. Thanks, Kyle.